Hey guys, this is Nigel Chin. Welcome to DIY on Herd.TV with a brand new episode and new hairstyle. Today we are making a tin can table lamp. Now for the first step, you would want to grab your tin can. It can be any kind of tin can you find. If you want a table lamp to be smaller but cuter, you can go ahead and find a smaller tin. Mine's pretty big because I'm a man. So what you want to do is grab a saw and make a compartment close to the lid. Well, try to use the blade as well. Because to me, the blade is way easier to stab a hole as well as to make that cutting. What you're going to do is just push it in. Now that's done, here you have it. Very nice hollow area. Now the next step is to grab yourself your rope and the glue gun. What you want to do is you want to ensure that you glow one part of the tin. Choose any side you like. Once you've glued that area, grab the rope and get ready for some binding. And now we've reached towards the end of the tin, you would want to actually glue the top layer bits over at the edge because that's when you really need the rope to be held in place. So here I have my glue gun and I'm going to make sure that every one of these edge of the lid gets glutified. Nice and sticky. There we go. So the next step is to make sure you drill a hole. Now here's the tricky part where you have to play with a drill and a blade as well as some pliers. So make sure to be extra careful when you're drilling a hole so that we can insert the lamp into the lampshade. So this is the kind of indicator you would want to make a cross intersection right where you drill. So that's the center of the point. Next, what you want to do is make that big hole I should tell you about. You can use a plier whatsoever ways or your finger. Just be extra careful on this step because you don't want to get hurt, especially when your fingers are as pretty as mine. Small one would do. Here we go. So that's what you'll look like. Now it's time to make our base. And what do I have here prepared? I have my own hanger. Make sure to grab anything you want. If you want a hanger just like mine, make sure it's a hanger that you use bendable. So what you want to do here is bend the hanger like that. That should do it. See, flat, nice and neat. Now grab the tin can and this is when you want to estimate where you would want to make your drilling happen. About one third of the can should be fine where it's easy and okay for the tin to rotate. So let's put this aside and make some drilling magic happen. Don't forget to use a screw with a good head base. The bigger it is, the better, so that you'll actually attach the base pretty well and tight. Let's try right here. Now as for the other side, make sure it's nice and straight. Now that the screws are in, it's time to try to fit in our base. You can just press it here, try to push it in. Let's see, it fits in nice. Haha. Uh -huh. Now use your drill and drill that screw in. Now even though we, drew, we have drilled this in, it's not going to be that tight. So what can we do? Use a nut. You can find this in any hardware stores or any tool shops. What you're going to do is you have to screw the inside of it. Here, let me show you. Can you see it? So what we have here is we have two of our screws inside and we have to make sure the nut is nice and tight. All right, now the base is well seated and stabilized, it's time to put the lights into action. Right here, I have my own lamp. You can see my own light bulb. You can get this in any hardware stores. Let me show you how to insert this in. Just fit it from the top and place the light bulb right inside. Make sure you have this unplugged before you do this. You wouldn't want to be electrified. And here we go, the moment of truth in one, two, and Ah, there you have it. Beautiful, shiny, my kind of lamp. 
And there we have it, our very own tin can lampshade. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's episode. This is Nigel Chin on DIY on Herd.TV. I'll catch you guys soon. Nigel signing out.